Remember that time you googled fever chills nausea and suddenly the internet was convinced you were the harbinger of a flu pandemic? Yeah, that wasn't just your paranoia talking. It was Google Flu Trends, a once celebrated AI project that promised to predict flu outbreaks faster than the CDC. But buckle up because this shining star of public health is about to take a hilarious, humbling and surprisingly relevant nosedive into the realm of AI mishaps. Imagine a world where you could predict flu outbreaks before they even hit. That's what Google Flu Trends promised. They figured if millions of people were searching for fever chills nausea, there must be something brewing. So they built an algorithm that analyzed real-time search data to track flu activity across the globe. Under the hood of Google Flu Trends word a complex algorithm, a digital detective constantly sniffing out clues from the vast ocean of search data. It tracked not just obvious queries like fever chills nausea, but also subtle trends in related searches, shifts in regional keywords, and even changes in search volume over time. The idea was to paint a real-time picture of flu activity across the globe, faster than traditional methods like hospital reports or lab tests. It was like a high-tech thermometer taking the pulse of the internet, except instead of mercury, it ran on algorithms and caffeine. Imagine a world where a single news story can trigger a nationwide flu panic. That's exactly what happened when a popular channel ran a segment on flu symptoms. Suddenly, Google Flu Trend sensors went haywire, mistaking the surge in searches for an actual epidemic. The poor algorithm, fueled by its own hypochondriac logic, cried, pandemic, before anyone even sniffled. And it wasn't just the news. Remember that particularly dramatic winter when everyone craved the comfort of a steaming bowl of chicken soup? Google, ever the eager helper, saw this as a national health crisis, predicting a flu outbreak based on a collective yearning for broth and noodles. Turns out, Google's eagerness to help sometimes led to misinterpretations. A simple craving for comfort food could trigger a pandemic alert, reminding us that human emotions and internet trends are complex beasts to navigate. Here's where things got interesting. Turns out, people don't just search for flu symptoms when they're sick. They search when they're worried, when they see scary news headlines, or even when they're just curious about what's going on. So Google flu trends started firing off false alarms, predicting flu pandemics that never arrived. It was like a hypochondriac robot screaming, the flu is coming every other week. Okay, so predicting flu outbreaks based on search queries wasn't exactly Google's finest hour. But hey, we all learn from our mistakes, right? This whole fiasco taught us some valuable lessons about the limitations of big data and AI. We learned that algorithms can be biased, that correlation isn't causation, and that sometimes the best way to track a disease is, well, actually tracking the disease. So the next time you see an AI promising to solve all your problems, take a deep breath and remember Google flu trends. Let's be critical, ask questions, and make sure these fancy algorithms are used responsibly. And hey, if you ever see a robot freaking out about the flu, just remind it to take some vitamin C and chill. So, Google flu trends, public health hero or hypochondriac bot, you decide. Was it a cautionary tale of big data hubris or a bumpy stepping stone on the road to AI-powered healthcare? Let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And let's brainstorm ways tech can truly serve us in tackling complex, real-world challenges. But before you dive into that rabbit hole, hit that subscribe button. We've got a whole playground of AI mishaps waiting to be explored, each one guaranteed to tickle your funny bone and spark your curiosity. Stick around, and let's keep unraveling this fascinating world of artificial intelligence. One hilarious stumble at a time. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and stay tuned.